from Stella. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Lucid. Yeah, my journey becoming a Halo Pro really does stem from Halo 5. Seen in a prime position to use that sniper rifle. Takes down, destroy. Three oh. players pushing into the base. That's a double kill. Another player spawns by the cape. Make that a triple. He's looking for the over. The player going up to Top Rock. Takes him down for the overkill. I was definitely into Halo 2 and Halo 3, but still being so young and I just kind of cared about playing games just to play games and have fun. I didn't really get as invested as my brother, who's quite a bit older than I was. He was kind of already in that like young teenager space to kind of really feel out the competition and really appreciate it as I did once I got to like that age around Halo 5. I tuned into the Halo 5 worlds, the first worlds in 2016 on my Xbox, tuned in, I watched like pretty much the full tournament in length, I think, for the first time ever. And that was when I kind of got hooked into it. And I was getting more into Halo 5, I was enjoying it, and really kind of feeling out that I could also compete in that space. No. Oh my god. Because like, I, I'd always played Halo growing up, and I always really enjoyed Halo. Alongside with Halo 5 was when I'm I was about 16 years old or so and finally like drive. I couldn't really get a job. I was doing great in school, taking like all honors and AP classes and dual rolling with college and all that. So I was pretty much like didn't really need a job, but I was like kind of looking for it during the summer. And that's when Halo 5 was that avenue of like, I just kind of want to get good at something or like, even better at something. So I was always like good at Halo, but I was like, I'm going to get better while I kind of just have nothing else to do. That was the time that I really improved. My individual skill was during Halo 5, and I started getting a lot of messages from people telling me that like, oh, you should maybe look into getting teams. You should try to this, try that. And then I finally considered it and started, you know, taking some potential offers with some people, just attempting to play in some online weekend tournaments, and then doing okay against some amateur players as well. So just kind of started from there and then worked my way up. Made my, made my journey to my first event in November of 2016. Really being taken, but yep. trade that one for Nest here, and you can see in the kill feed, Trippy is the one running around with the railgun, but a great charge here Jeez. by Saiyan grabs a double. We've seen from Panda Gaming all weekend long. And what a flank coming in here. He knows there's players weak, Jeez. grabs a double. There's a third player engine too. He's going to be one shot now. Last player down at SMG. 6S has got to be feeling good. They win that game 100 to 81, and what a back and forth tug of war match it was in the end. It looks like it was 53 to 50 in favor of red team in terms of overall kills. Got top, uh, pretty much like top 10. We were like the ninth, 10th like team really. It was top 12, but we were like contesting with uh, threes up. And then I think uh, Fabi at the time, that was like who knocked us out. So we were already like in a pretty good spot for our first tournament, Joey and I. Uh, Trippy and I, whenever we first started there and then got picked up from, uh, from like L-Town and LG. They win a game seven versus Splice. Splice dropping down to the losers. Wow, what a series that was. That's absolutely crazy. That was like where it started in the uh, February after that. The rest is history. Their time with that one, and look at these snipes coming out. Lucid, maybe put the oh, shot down for this. Lucid with a nasty double kill. Spartan equalizes. It's two down for phase, though. They have the option to play it, and they're gonna keep it in their pockets. All four dead, triple kill for Lucid. because we do have a beautiful award that Mr. Dave Walsh wow. is going to come and give you himself. So please do get your hands on this insane, insane trophy. Thank you so much. Wow. Isn't it pretty? This well, is a very, very pretty. Thank you so much. <laughs> So there That's you go, amazing. regular season MVP Lucid. Uh, do you have any words that you want to give maybe to your fans, family, friends? I've said it a lot of times and I can't say it enough, but thank you so much to my parents, girlfriend, we're even standing on the sidelines right now. I see him. I'm up here. And just all the fans, the green wall especially, always out, always supporting, especially these last few events. The energy and the vibe is just absolutely immaculate. Thank you very much to everybody, the players alike, for voting me MVP. I really appreciate it. And uh, 
I'm just happy to be up here uh, receiving this, this accommodation. It's, it's a blessing. You're one of the best Halo players, in my opinion, of all time now. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> uh, not just an in Infinite or Halo 5. I would literally die for this man. <laughs> what is your favorite call out? And would you would you scream it at me like we were on main stage? Shroom, shrooms! Weak on me. One shot, shrooms. One shot, pushing. Yes, shroom bridge. Driveway. Jumping up. Driveway. Wrong map, but Karen, shrooms. come home. Yeah. This guy, you need to idolize in some way, <laughs> shape. This is the next. I. This is the next Dave Walsh of the next generation of Halo <laughs> players.